Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel T-Spot. In this video, I wish you all a very happy Merry Christmas. Because it is one of the most magical times of the year, we wish that this weekend would be celebrated for all of you. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it's not a bad idea to enjoy the last few weeks of the year and accept the year's positive and negative aspects. It's time to look ahead to see what the new year will bring. A brand new episode of Yellowstone Season 5 appears to be one of the first gifts of the new year. Be that as it may, prior to getting into it, we need to recollect what has occurred in Yellowstone Season 5 up until this point. John Dutton's election as governor of Montana marked the beginning of the new season. Yes, John Dutton, our beloved, who only cares about his ranch, found himself suddenly at the center of politics. He has now made it abundantly clear that he will not be running for a second term. In point of fact, it does not appear that he intends to be a governor with a lot of importance for this term either. Instead, he seems to be taking advantage of the privileges that come with being governor, such as ending the agreement with Sutton. However, despite the fact that this is advantageous for the ranch because it requires a manager like John, he does not like to participate in state affairs. This is a strange situation for the state because the state also needs a good manager. If John didn't want anything to do with it, one might ask why he wanted to be governor. The answer is straightforward. Up until as of late, he didn't want to be engaged with governmental issues using any and all means. However, he had always known that the family would always have a political member. In order to ensure that the decisions made at the governor's office would be beneficial to the Yellowstone Ranch, he raised Jamie to be a Harvard graduate who returned to his homeland to become a politician. However, Jamie and John did not get along well, which led John to disregard Jamie's efforts and undermine John's position as governor. Naturally, Jamie supported his father and acted happy for him. However, his animosity toward John for his actions was evident from the beginning. By declaring that he was the one who was supposed to be the governor, Ian made it clear. John responded by making it abundantly clear that he does not have confidence in Jamie's approach to the Yellowstone Ranch. Jamie appeared to have comprehended his father's situation and decided to be content with it for a brief moment. However, before long, things got an extremely unforeseen transform with the entry of Sarah Atwood into the image. Essentially, Sarah is the agent of market equities sent to seduce Jamie and persuade him to do something against his father. A common person might suggest that it would be difficult to persuade a man to oppose his own father in just a few days. Jamie, on the other hand, is unable to behave in a sensible or reasonable manner. He enjoys being manipulated, so he is constantly being manipulated. At first it was Garrett, then, at that point, it turned into his child's mom and presently it's Sarah. Jamie is always willing to be manipulated by whoever is present. As was to be expected, Jamie was convinced in a matter of seconds that his father was wrong and that he should take his place. However, there is one issue. After four years, elections will be held. Has market equities, which suffered millions of dollars in losses as a result of John, four years to wait? Obviously not. As a result, Sarah convinced Jamie to impeach his father, creating a new option. Yes, that is what you heard. Jamie will present an impeachment motion to the State Assembly for his father's illegal cancellation of an agreement and conversion of reservation land. Jane gives that speech in the preview for Episode 8. In his arguments, he seems pretty self-assured and articulate. After that, he tells someone we believe to be Beth that he wants to save the Yellowstone Ranch and that getting rid of his father is the only way to do so. Since Beth would not be able to comprehend any argument against his father if he really says these things to her, it indicates that he is stupid. However, there is a possibility that John will be forced to commercialize the ranch and profit from its marketing if Beth allows Jamie to do as he pleases. It is abundantly clear that the ranch is in a dire financial situation and that its previous ways of life are no longer practical. As a result, a change is necessary and Beth's understanding of how to make use of Jamie's attempt may be the driving force behind this change. Yellowstone will not air a new episode on Sunday due to Christmas week. Instead, as a New Year's present, we will receive episode 8 on January 23. Then, at that point, the show will offer a reprieve for half a month as the season will be delivered in two sections. To put it another way, the first part of the series will come to an end with episode 8. Are you of the opinion that Joan could be impeached? Do you think Jamie handled the acts in a reasonable way? Please share your thoughts in the section below. Also, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the video. I appreciate your attention.
Come back soon.